Hello everybody, Storm here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In the last episode, uh, we started working on getting the Longbow and its crew back home to Kerbin. Unfortunately, the Longbow does not have sufficient Delta V to get the crew back home to Kerbin. Even with experimenting with trying to do a gravity assist off of EVE, which really wasn't going to work, and the position that we're currently at, it wasn't going to be enough. So, what I decided that I'm going to do instead is fly out a refueling vehicle to fuel the longbow back up, and then it will have enough Delta V to get the crew home, and park it in an orbit where I can then start to work with it because the plan is to decommission it uh, and begin to you know and use some of its components for a space station in moon moon orbit so went ahead and worked on designing that vehicle and launched it got it into orbit and I think we got that on a, yeah, we got that on an escape trajectory and got it out into interplanetary space. So, what we now need to do is work on getting this thing rendezvoused properly with the longbow and then docked and everything else. Okay, so yeah, I've already set up the node. Let's just make sure that the node still looks right, even after reloading the save, because sometimes things can get goofy. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Can we delete that? Alright, good. All right, let's try this again. Create the node. There we are, 61 days, four hours, 33 minutes, so six minute, 22 second burn, which is simple enough, and that will get us to within a kilometer of a range. In theory. hundred and forty seven days four hours and thirty four minutes that's definitely enough time I'm not gonna have to worry about the other unmanned probes I think we got like 300 days on um, the elu probe before it has to do a burn all right so let's go ahead and have that execute the node oh right Yep, had to spend a bunch of our science as well to unlock the new reactors. And this reactor is uh, enabled, yes. Do I really want to wait 61 days? Yeah, I don't really care. Carries 560 fuel. So. I'm not too worried about recovering this vehicle. I mean, though it could be nice to use as a tug, if I can get it back. You know, a tug that has a standard docking port on it rather than one of the large ones. But, this is... Hold on, hold on, I need to extend my antennas before this thing gets too far away. Oh, there we go. Yeah, these RCS should barely use any lithium. Mm -hmm. 
And the Kerbals have three years of life support, so... Another 200 days. Even like in only 400 days is, is not going to be a problem. All right, and there's the burn. Using four of our... Is that Pirlos? Pirlos. Magnetoplasma dynamic engines. Wasn't able to unlock the larger, the larger engines. But once we get some of this science back, we definitely will be able to do that. Maybe unlock some of the uh, the Orion nuclear pulse engines. I'd like to see how those actually will work. Which is the most insane sounding type of um, interplanetary sublight thrust concept I've ever heard of. Which, where you're basically, you're dropping small nuclear bombs out the back of the uh, the vessel and then detonating them against a pressure plate that's connected to the, vi the vessel with uh, shock absorbers to transfer the impulse from the detonating of the nuclear bombs to the ship. And this is, was actually a real thing. It actually had a significant amount of government funding for it back in the 60s, I think it was. And they were starting to perform some tests of some early concept designs, but the nuclear test ban ended that. And I can't remember if I mentioned this before or not. So I'll mention it again, if I have. Alright, so we've got 3 minutes and 55 seconds left. And hopefully, the resultant orbit will be what we need, which it should be. It's only a 6 minute burn. It's only when you have like a 20 minute long burn um, and you have a fairly precise orbit to hit that things can get a bit goofy. With a large orbit like this, um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, how's our electric charge doing? Electric charge is fine. Perfectly fine. And hopefully we won't expend too much of our lithium. Because we need this lithium for, uh, for our vessel. Two minutes to go.
Simple coplanar home and transfer. No, we're definitely not doing a simple coplanar transfer. Because this is a uh, offset. inclined orbit. All right, one minute to go. Jewel probe, yeah, that's going to be like what? It was like two years before it arrives. If those guys are heating up. But they should be all right. Well, the engines are going to shut down here in about 10 seconds. And then we can kill the reactor. go burn complete and we have a separation of 48.6 kilometers okay um, orient us program please stop Separation is 2.1 kilometers. All right. Now, I need to match velocities with target at closest approach. That's going to be a five minute long burn in 85 days. All right, so. Let's go ahead and warp to there. Because the further along we go here, the, uh, the less effect small changes are going to have on the resultant encounter. Okay. Separation is going to be 63 kilometers. That's not great. Uh, orient to the maneuver node, please. Separation is 63 kilometers. All right, let's kill that. Can I set up a maneuver? Well, 
we'll just have to deal with it, I think. Create the node. All right. Execute the node. We're just going to have to wing it. Five minute long burn. All right, where is where is it? Below, above? Well, below and above make no sense in space. If I set this to target, is it that? Well, we're probably still a good distance away, I guess. We have 1800 meters per second of Delta V to burn off. This docking maneuver is going to be interesting. This is a big, heavy vehicle. So, RCS is probably not going to be as responsive as I would like when we get there. Pretty much like directly behind us. It must be that dot right there. would expect that we would start seeing the actual target marker here soonish. Well, I mean, our relative velocity is a thousand meters per second, and it's going to take two and a half minutes. Two minutes and 45 seconds. There it is. Yep. So yeah, it's 80 some odd kilometers out. Five kilometers. With two minutes left to go on the burn. Uh, 
35 kilometers. One and a half minutes. We're going to be relatively close, I think. Probably... Probably around 10 kilometers. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little less. And 10 kilometers once we're done. Less so far. Less is actually better. Alright, we're down to 300 meters per second. 40 seconds left on the burn. 6.9, 6.8. And that's probably as close as we're going to get. 6.9. reactor on? I did leave the reactor on. That's fine. The panels are getting a little warm because we're a little close to the sun. That's just uh, about it. Alright, so we're going to drop down to... There. All right. So I want to aim towards the target. Can I get that out of the way because it's in my way? There we go. Relative velocities are zero. That's not going to stay the, the same way, or the same, for very long. Alright. Once we're oriented, going to switch over to just maintain the current, current angle. And let's give me... Actually, can I throttle up the main engines to give me about about 10 meters per second. Start burning that off. And it's not coming off. Okay. Uh, flip. Alright, we're going to do a flip and burn. I want to drop that down to about 5 meters per second. Alright, as soon as the RCS system stops freaking out, Just 
turn the RCS system off for a minute. Five meters per second. I'd like to get within a few hundred meters and let's burn the rest of this velocity off. All right, go ahead and flip to target. All right, I want to control from here, and I want my docking camera, please. Closing on the target at 0.9 meters per second. That's fine. But our trajectory is offset slightly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them just just stabilize us here. Just stabilize us here. Start bringing our thrust or our directional vector directly towards Longbow. There we are. There we go. Stop. Okay, so I need a target docking port. I need a docking port that we are going to aim for. This one. Am I close enough to actually individually target the docking port? I guess not. I have to wait till things close a, a little bit more. There we go. I have an individually targeted docking port. All right. Okay. No. Wrong. There we go. Rotate about 90 degrees. Yeah, I have to be 
very careful. All right. Because this thing is not going to slow down very fast. Or speed up very fast. So, I'm going to want to keep this at a very, very slow speed. Start orienting. Stabilize, stabilize. And we get those blue lines lined up. just to uh, keep things somewhat intuitive here, or at least pretty close to zero. Pretty close. So I'm going to bring my roll to 90, because the, the left and right controls are making me go up and down, and the up and down controls are making me go left to right, so it's not exactly what I'm interested in. So if I turn that way, I don't really know what's going on. All right, well, I guess I'll just have to, uh, There's a reversed. It's all right. It's all right. All right let's get the velocity canceled out. Yeah, 
overdid it. I overdid it. Okay. Something just doesn't lie isn't uh Instrumentation is not working correctly, so I'm gonna have to uh use Mark One eyeball for this. Stop stop oscillating. Stop oscillating, please. Let's get our closing velocity up a little bit. So I need to get a little bit closer. Yeah, this is all flipped around. Okay. 180 degree rotation. Make it quick. Okay, there we are. window was just so small okay yeah now <clears throat> oh, excuse me now the controls are kind of doing what I'm expecting yeah we need to go this way a little bit more slow down that, that velocity there Having trouble with uh, Z. Yeah, we need to we need to move down a little bit more. I'm calling down towards. Uh, Towards the longbow's engines, up toward the lander. Lining up pretty well in the vertical. Horizontal, we're still a little off. need to close a little bit quicker. Get me up to 0.5 meters per second. All 
All right, we are closing. Just gonna let it drift here for a second. Just gonna let it drift here. I think. How are we as far as orientation? I think we're good as far as orientation is concerned. But we are going to need to bring it... up a little bit more. Kind of the, the uh, just the reality of uh, trying to dock these big, heavy pieces of equipment. All right, we've got time to dock. All right. We're lined up. Target. And we are docked. All right. There we go. So, now what I need to do is get flight engineer out of the way and bring up my fuel balancer for lithium. Alright, so the ones that need to be emptied are the Octogirder Modular Truss, you guys, and the LFR-880 Lithium Tanks. So, all of those need to be emptied into the other lithium tanks. Transfer out, transfer out. Transfer out, 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 out. This may completely empty. Yeah, it did. All right, so the refueling vehicle is now completely empty. So no, it's not gonna be able to return. But that's fine. You're just gonna go ahead and sit here as a relay satellite on this orbit for the rest of, well, ever. Uh, go ahead and deactivate that reactor. It's no longer needed. Go ahead and undock. Give us a good push. Get clear. All right, then. What about our reactor here? 
it is still on. Should have probably turned it off, but that's okay. All right, that gives us 7,751 meters per second of delta V to play with. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. That will definitely get the job done. All right, so, Kerbin is a target. I want my transfer. Where's my node? My node is in 212 days, 3 hours, 9 minutes, with a 16 minute burn. Okay. I have 3 years and 26 days. That is plenty of time. Alright, but that's 212 days. Let me, um, return to the Space Center. So that's like going around a whole orbit, which is fine. How long till the Elu probe needs to do its burn? Two hundred and thirteen days. Two hundred and twelve days, three hours. Two hundred and thirteen days, zero hours. And that's going to be a 16-minute burn, it said, right? 16 minutes? Okay. And then the ELU probe has got a, a, long, a long maneuver ahead of itself. So, here's what we're going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take care of both of those maneuvers off screen. I'm going to do the Longbow's Maneuver for Kerbin Rendezvous and then do the Elu Probe's Maneuver for Elu Rendezvous. And then we will pick up at that point when we come back. So then what we'll, I'll be able to do is then do the capture for Kerbin at Kerbin and then get the crew home, get the science, and... Uh, yeah, that should take care of it. All right, so I think with that, we'll go ahead and stop here then. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.